Hello, beautiful humans. So today I wanted to share something that was brought to my attention by one of my friends that I've been working with. I was sorting through a heartache that he's going through, a breakup and, you know, struggling, and that's what I enjoy doing. Uh, my passion in life is actually helping those uh, navigate the things that I have been through in the past and help them do it differently than the way I did it or the way I have. Um, also, I work a lot with helping with abusive situations, domestic violence. Um, I know all of the red flags, all of the green flags. I study the psychology of relationships, breakups, why people treat us the way they treat us. And all of that stuff is so intriguing to me and I love it. One thing that I really hate hearing and I heard all the time and I have to address, and I heard it again a couple days ago. I, when a relationship ends and there's no abuse involved, that's an important part to remember. There's no abuse involved. The relationship has run its course. It is expired, if you will. And it's just time to go your separate ways, right? I very much hate hearing, maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I could have said something differently. Maybe if I would have just ignored the red flag that was waving in my face longer, it would have lasted. Maybe if I were just to relax and put up with the things I don't like, the things that are on my list that I don't want, maybe if I just accommodated that person more, it would have lasted. Let's talk about this, ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 no. You are worth everything you are seeking. You can have any partner that you want that gives you everything you want. Don't settle. Mm -mm. It sucks for a minute to find out that the person that you've been spending time with doesn't have all the things that you are seeking. Or maybe you don't have all the things that they're seeking. It can be tough. Breakup sucks. But guess what? It just keeps getting better. Just keep going. Keep striving to find that partner. Keep striving to have exactly what you were seeking. And also, one more thing, if you have been in that abusive relationship, I better not ever hear you blame yourself. I better not ever hear anyone say, if I would have just acted differently, maybe he or she wouldn't have been abusive. They said it was my fault, so I'm sure it was. I could go on and on about this one. Don't do it. Don't ever question yourself. If you are staying true to your heart, true to your soul, and true to what you're looking for, you will have it. And it isn't your fault. We cannot control other people's behaviors. People project onto us, even their partners, how they feel about themselves. I know, it seems simple, right? It seems so much more simple than the way it makes us feel inside. People that tell us that we're liars, cheaters, jerks, no good, fat, ugly, disgusting, could go on and on and on and on, no good for anyone deep down inside feel that way about themselves. No, it isn't you. It's not your fault. Relationships end. People change. Red flags get hidden. And guess what? It's okay. It's going to be okay. Heal that pain. Heal that stuff. Move on. Know what you want know your worth, and I promise you, you will find someone who will appreciate your worth and who you are and not blame you and not be abusive toward you and definitely want to stick it out. 
because those that appreciate you and value you as much as you do yourself will stick it out, will understand that there will be hard days. There will be good and there will be bad, but it'll all be worth it. I hope you all have an amazing day. And again, love yourself first. And don't you ever, ever do the blame, shame, or guilt game. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see it. I want to see nothing, but I'm proud of myself. I am amazing. I do value myself. And I got this. Bye.